few weeks ago, we went out with the young kids, and this time, it's the big kids. Get yeah. a chance to hunt, Brett. Yeah, we're in a cool place too, right? Yeah, we are. Hey, I'm Adam Eagle, and thanks for tuning in. Brett, we came up to Oregon, got invited by some guys from Utah, yeah. and on a property here called Beer Farms. It's a place that they farm just for pheasants. Yeah, these guys have done a bunch of habitat work, and I mean, they, they've got, they say they've got a bunch of birds, and I'm excited to see what they've done here because habitat work is, is, is a big deal to me. I think it's awesome. Yeah. Well, let's go see if we can get some big wild birds. How's yeah, that sound? That sounds fantastic. We're expecting pheasants here? Yes. Yeah, okay. Pheasants, there's also been a covey of quail right on the top okay. in the Russian olives. Good girl. Fine bird. We're hunting with Brian Sirdar and his family. Brian started buying land about seven years ago. His plan was to enhance the property to grow wild pheasants. And with the help of friends and family, they've been very successful at it. Most people, when they buy 370 acres, they, they try and make money off of it. Yes, that's true. And you decided not. <laughs> we decided that we wanted to do this. I wanted to do this because I remember as a kid how much fun it was. I was hoping that I could pass it on to my kids and my grandkids. Pilot's on point right up in front of you about 30 yards. Hand. That's it. Good boy. Hand. 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 Rooster! rooster. Two roosters. Somebody get it. Nice. Good shooting. Rooster! That one's going to live. A lot of them do. <laughs> <laughs> What have you done to the property to enhance it? We had really good heavy cover to start with, but most of it, other than that, was just weeds. Now we've gone in, we've done food plots. Look at them go. We do a lot of sorghum. We do a lot of beardless barley. We've tried the pheasants forever. They had a bird mix we put in here a few years. We've done nesting areas for them. We've also gone in and taken out a lot of trees to, you know, make it so that we don't have predators in here flying around. Habitat, predators, feet. That's all and I feet, mean. all three of those. Yep, and good winter cover. And the other thing we have here, we have a lot of live water. We have three or four springs, which makes it so the birds have good habitat all year round. Roosters, get them! So we've got a variety of habitats here for the birds, right? We got winter grains, and we have winter cover. The stuff behind me, um, I bet you when it snows and it's extreme weather, they just pile into this stuff. We had cattails that were so thick we couldn't even get birds to fly out of, so predators can't get them. They can get in and out of feed plots without um, exposing themselves. Everywhere I go, just knows, there's no surprise why they have so many pheasants. Right. Yeah, point right here? Pilot. Yeah. That, that's a point. Yeah. It's right here. The rooster? Yeah, get him. <laughs> the guys that have hunt with us today, they they all come up and donate their time. Like they Russ and Jimmy, they'll they'll move fences. Russ does a lot of the planting. Oh, the show's gonna start with that one. <laughs> Get any better than that. <laughs> those guys come up and do each of those things because they also enjoy coming up here with us. It's a collaborative effort between family and friends, it sounds like. Yes. Point. Cool. And? Good boy. Why can't they ever be roosters, right? Uh. <laughs> Rooster. I, I'd shoot Jared. Oh, run right there, right there. Get him, Adam. Good shot. Yeah, Adam got it. Come here, Sonny. Good girl. No, no, good girl. I know. Good girl, I know. Good girl, Sammy. Golden BB, as Brett likes to call it. <laughs> That's one. And we got one more. Fun. Okay. So we're going to work through here. We've got blockers set out on the side. We'll just work our way around. Wiggles up, and then once we hit the road, then we should find some birds. Okay. Push okay. them to the end, huh? Yep. You had told me before we came up how thick it is here. I didn't really quite, it's pretty thick. <laughs> I was on my hands and knees a couple times. There was. Yeah, it's thick stuff, but that's good habitat. Yeah, and we try to put, you know, thinner stuff in here too. And the beauty of this place is it, 
it's it's not great farming land so it makes a good bird land yeah she's on point so she's probably right there in front of you so stay stay alert there goes the quail holy quail quail shoot him good girl thanks carl let's find some birds there's birds in here I've never hunted cover like this where you need blockers to hold birds and to help you shoot them. I tried it and they were either too far or I just missed. These wild roosters are killing my confidence. These are hard birds. Uh, there's both a lot of young of the year birds here and there's older birds and a lot of times you'll see birds together in groups. A lot of eyes make it hard to sneak up on them. She's right here on point, I think. Be ready right here. They are always trying to get away. I tell friends, they'll run till you stop them. We always just hope a few of them hunker down and maybe we can get a couple of them. There it is. Did you get it? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Sonny. Good girl. Look at that big bird. Look at that really nice, big, wild pheasant that's awesome that's the best bird of the trip for me we finally had a point and i flushed it and i was able to shoot it and it's awesome look at the tail on that thing it's by far the best cover i've hunted in an awful long time yeah some of those cattail bottoms that we hit yesterday were um unbelievable bird in there she went back on point yeah seek sonny seek i mean jim had that bird in his hand right it, yeah. yeah i mean just crazy. You could hear them running through it, but you couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, she's got a dead bird. No, it's alive. It's a rooster. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> Sonny's got it. She won't bite you. Should I let her get it or should I grab it? You can grab it. It's a rooster. I think. Yeah, it is. Oh, get it. Uh oh. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> That bird was tucked oh. in there. Holy cow, it was. She was trying to grab it the whole time. We're gonna need the dog to find it because it is a jungle. It is really thick. <laughs> Good girl, Sonny. <laughs> we tried yeah. releasing her, she would right. not release. That's a nice long tail feathered bird too. It's just unbelievable. But the fact that they can get away from us means they can get away from other predators too, right? So I think that's pretty cool. This is crazy, huh? Rooster! Nice rat! Nice job! <laughs> Holy cow, that thing held! You're making us earn it! <laughs> Wild birds! Yep. <laughs> it sucks, dude. But it's better to get them out now. It is. Well, our last hunt of the two day trip is starting off a little sticky. Pilot has tangled with a porcupine. But luckily, the guys That's were prepared with pliers, and we're back looking for Mr. Ringneck. Point right there. Okay, are you in position? Because he's pretty solid on this one. He never was, went right there. I can see it. And I can see it moving in the tree, in the bush. Good boy. Good job, buddy. What are you hoping people get out of inviting us up here? Um, I hope that people can see that you can start somewhere. It may just be a little bit, but every little bit you do helps your area, plus it can help other areas as the birds start to move out. You know, just that people have the idea that, gosh, maybe I can't do a great big thing, but I can do something small. We started small and then the opportunities to grow just come along as they come around. Luckily, we've been in a position to pick them up and expand what we've been doing. Did you happen to get that? I got you shooting. It's a double. Fetch, good girl. Fetch him here. She's got it. Right here. Good girl. A little bit different than the quail we shot last time. But beautiful, just the same, right? Look at the scaling up in here. A little comma top. I don't get to shoot a lot of quail, so this is big to me. I like this. Having the right habitat has made the difference for the Sirdar family. So, can it work for us back home in Utah? We may find out when some of our northern Utah public lands. 
Pheasant Forever and Sportsman for Fish and Wildlife have helped fund a position for a habitat specialist for the northern Utah waterfowl management areas. His job will be to improve the habitat for upland game birds on our public WMAs. Fetch! That's my girl. Good girl. Look how black that thing is. Good girl. Right here. Good girl. Good girl. Another beautiful Oregon pheasant. An older spur a little bit. And just like that, I'm done. It's time to get Adam some birds. We got a point up here. <laughs> Did not expect her to come out of that. So fun. Oh, I can see him running in front of us. I saw him running in front of us. Oh, it's a bunny rabbit, never mind. Finally, all I keep seeing are hands. Oh. That was gonna die too. I have been, uh... oh, I'm out. As I was trying to say, <laughs> I've been busting hens. I've been the hen, the hen king today. Finally, got a rooster. There we go. Nice young bird. Boy, what a what a great hatch they had here. I bet 98% of the birds we're seeing are are young birds. Last this year's birds. So, for the record, pilots on point. Look at that, yeah. Rich, how come you didn't catch that one? He should have caught it. Holy cow, that was a suicide rooster there. I'm done. I got two, I'm done. We're all living it out. Look at that. Another young bird. Yeah. Boy, that's got some tail feathers. Young bird, but look at the tail feathers. Look how healthy that is. That is crazy. That was fun. The pheasant hunting I experienced in Utah when I was young, I mean, never come back all the way, but Maybe there's a few landowners out there or the new habitat specialist that can take a few pointers from the Sirdar family who have created their own pheasant field of dreams here in Oregon. It's good habitat and it's a good mixture of habitat. All by design though. A uh, little bit by design and some by luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see, we had some luck here as well. That was a pretty good day. That was. That was actually the best day I've had since probably 25 years of pheasant hunting. Oh, well, great. And we, that was a good day. It was a fun day for all of us. Yeah. I mean, Brett even got a couple. Yeah, even I got a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Brett shoots pretty dang good. <laughs> I backed you on a couple. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I was there for you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, great time. Sometimes you got to travel to go find birds, but most times, if you put in the effort, it's worth it. And if you got good friends like Dave and Brian, it's well worth it, right? Heck of a lot of fun. Oh, Heck man. Heck of a lot of fun. These guys are great. Fun. Good that dog fun. work, good times, good friends. Get out with your family, your friends. Make some memories outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night.